Eyes, front, hands down. Barret, be ready for the 12 rules of guest invitation. Mark. particular day and particularly because of this week that God has given us as brigaders and also particularly this time that many of us particularly young ones are on holiday preparing to go back to school we also want to thank God in this period of COVID that God has preserved us and we are alive and we can see one another it is an opportunity to really thank God because of what he has done for us and therefore is a moment of thanking God. I also want to thank God because of the officers, the way they have uh, given themselves so that to plan for this day, that we can have this moment of having a service, having a parade, and also creating a moment of interaction. Would have uh, loved it to all of us to be here as a parish, but because of the logistics, the health issues, then we cannot bring everybody here. But you coming here, being a representation and being the face of our parish, we are very proud of you. Uh, the word of God that God has given us this season, uh, that uh, we are continuing reflecting on it, is that each of us has a space uh, of doing something, however small or however big, well, and then we can make a difference. Because that story of Naaman tells us that, that uh, there can be a bigger problem, but uh, one of us can have a, an area of giving a solution. And therefore, don't feel intimidated. Whenever you are, even in school, 
even at the place of work, even in the community. Never feel intimidated. But what you know and what you believe, that pursue that. Then God, who sees in heaven and who also sees in secret, is able to help you and overcome those challenges. That is one thing I want to say about our portion of the Bible that we are studying now. We also want to say, especially because of you being young, I want to say that there are many opportunities that God has given for all of us. And let you not borrow the lie that hakuna nafasi za kazi, hata ukisoma masomo haina nafasi, that is a lie from the devil. I want to tell you, the life she has to live by faith. Bana sifuwa, wala ambao anamtua mungu wao na kumtegemea, wataendelea kunawili, hata inga wengine wanamunda. Kwa hivyo, wewe, siyo mtutu wa kawaida, wewe ni mtoto wa mungu, mungu amekuchagua na vile vile umechagua kanisa, na umechagua kujenga imani dani ya kesu kristo. Na kwa hivyo, maisha yako tabadilishua na yesu, ayawe maisha mazuri, akupatia. Mladi tuwewe uwe muaminifu, na uweze kukisheria za mungu. Kwa hivyo, uachane na uongo wa shetani, kwamba masomu haina nafasi, hakuna nafasi za kazi, mambo ya tia mechafuka la, uachane na uwe uongo. Sisi wenyewe, tujifiche ndani ya adamu ya kesu kristo, na ataweza kutupatia ushindi kila mahali ambapo tunaenda. Na yada shida ambazo ziko katika dunia, basi tumuambia mungu aweze kutuwekusha. Kwa hivyo, ni sisi tutachagua, tutachagua vida ambazo utakaishi katika dunia hii ambazo kuna changamoto hizo zote na tukifanya hivyo tutakuwa washindi ningetaka tu kurudia maneno ambayo yako katika mwanzo ambayo anazungumzia juu mwanzo wa 39 anazungumzia juu ya kijana ambaye anaitwa Yusufu alikuwa katika dunia yake na kulikuwa na mambo machafu kwa sababu alipoajiriwa kazi ama alipochukua mateka na kuwa mtumwa pale mkubwa wake alitaka kumtumia katika mambo ya kufanya usherati lakini ya likata akasema haijalishi hata kama ni kuwawa haijalishi hata kama ni kufungu wanjera lakini mimi sita ingia katika kosa hili hili ni muasi mungu kwa hivyo kila mtu wana nafasi kila mtu wana nafasi naomba uto mkono kwa mfungu kila mtu wana nafasi ninamambia hivyo kwa sabi yoni disipli uh, kila mtu wana nafasi uh, maisha haya kuchagua kuchagua vile ambavyo wewe utafanya kwa hivyo ni, ni wewe uchague ni wewe uchague useme mimi nimeamua kumtumikia Mungu nimeamua maisha yangu yao ya kupendeza Mungu nimeamua kutii wazazi wangu nimeamua kutii sheria za nchi na utajikuta kutoka utotoni wako umu wa katikati na wakati utakuwa mzee hautakuwa na jambo lolote la kusema kama ningelijua kwa sababu mitihani yako utapita hautaingia njera hautapata shida zingine kwa sababu Mungu atakuwa upe, upande wako na utaweza kusema maneno ambayo Daudi alisema katika Zaburi ya 23 Bwana ndiye mchungaji wangu na sitakosa kitu chochote hata nikiwa katika majaribu uvuli wake unaweza kunitosha ndio ningekuwa ombi langu kwenu nyinyi kama vijana ambao Bwana ametupa wakati huu tunapoelea na mimi nazungumza hivyo kama mchungaji ambaye pia nimeona ma, miaka kadhaa na nimeona vile ambavyo ukiwa ujana ukiwa katikati na umtegemee Mungu Mungu anakubeba na anakuficha kutokana na uovu na nataka kusema kwamba dunia hii haijabadilika na ile tulikuwa tunaishi na haitabadilika na ile watoto hata watoto wenu wataishi lakini ni wewe binafsi kama Yusufu kuchagua useme mimi mimi mwenyewe maisha yangu nitayafita ndani ya Mungu ambaye anaweza kunisaidia. Kwa hivyo nashukuru kwa sababu ya program yetu ya Brigade. Kwa sababu una, inafundisha ukweli na Biblia inasema kwamba ukijua ukweli na ukweli utafanya nini? Utakuweka huru. Si ni sawa? So let know the truth and the truth will set you free. Na hiyo ndio jambo nzuri. Unajua sheria za Brigade zifuate, unajua kuishi na watu wengine zifuate, it will set you free, it will create your own boundary to give you our own kingdom and that way you will continue rejoicing you will continue rejoicing yes there is a peer pressure but uh, don't allow yourself to go with the crowd choose to be an individual choose to be a good example and say i am made for god and i want to see what god can do 
or those people who choose him. Kwa hivyo bwana wabariki awatendee mema ningetaka sasa tuombe. Mtakatifu na Mungu wetu hawa ni watoto wetu ambao umetupa na ni watoto wa baraka. Ndio kuna changamoto hizo zote ambazo tunazungumzia juu yake lakini si tofauti na dunia iliyopita na hazitakuwa tofauti na dunia inayokuja ni kwa sababu tunajua kwamba tunangangana na nguvu za giza. Lakini hawa ni wataule wako ni watoto wetu na wameamua kukutumikia hasa katika huduma hii ya brigade na huduma nyingine zote kanisani. Tuwaombea kibari na neema yako na tuwaombea ushupavu hata wanapoendelea katika masomo yao katika college katika kazi ambazo wanazifanya. Uwe Mungu wao na uwasaidie. Na tuwaombea ushujaa na ushupavu wasije wakanyamaza wanaposikiliza sauti yako waifuate ni kwa sababu watakuwa barikiwa wao. Wabariki walimu tubariki si zote kama kanisa na dunia yote kwa jumla hata katika eneo hili na kaunti hii yetu ya Nakuru. Na katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Vita on your head. Hands down. Attention. Moderator sir, may I dismiss the parade? Yes, permission granted. Parade, stand at ease. Attention. At ease. Attention. Parade, dismiss.
kila mtu atajipeleka mbele za Bwana kwa sababu mtu tu anatijua na unajua yale yanaendelea tupeleke mbele ya Bwana Asanti Mwenyezi Mungu baba wetu wa mbinguni Jehova Jire Jehova Shama mwanzo na mwisho Jehova Twaja pele zako asubuhi ya leo tukinyenyekea mbinguni mwako Bwana ni kwa sababu ya yale yote umetutendea tunafurahi ni kwa sababu ni mwaka mzima wakati tulikuwa na wiki yetu ya kuige na sasa umetufikisha siku ya leo jina lako linuliwe jina lako litukuswe twakuheshimu twakuinamia twasema unastahili ni kwa sababu hakuna mwingine kama wewe wewe ni baba wetu na utaishi ukiwa baba wetu twakutukusa twasema unastahili pokea sifa na shukurani kwa sababu ni zako wewe ni baba wetu na utaishi ukiwa baba wetu hauwapatiliki hivyo ndivyo ulikuwa jana na leo hata kesho baba wetu umetenda mema kwa watu wengi na hata sisi tunagojea kutendewa mema ni kwa sababu wewe ni baba asanti baba wetu twakili dhambi na makosa ni kwa sababu wewe ndio unatuambia dhambi tu ndizo zitaweza tenganisha sisi na wewe nasi tukisema hatutatenda dhambi twajidanganya na mambo ya ukweli yanakuwa haiko ndani yetu kwa hivyo twakili dhambi za aina yote dhambi yenye tunajua yenye hatujui Bwana dhambi yenye imetendwa na wazazi wetu wa hapo kale na dhambi zenye tumetenda baba utusamee ni kwa sababu wewe ni baba wetu na utatusamee tunakumbuka wale baba tunasoma kwa kitabu zako uliwasamee dhambi zao hata sisi tunajua ya kwamba utatusamee kwa hivyo twakili dhambi za aina yote ni kwa sababu wewe ni baba wetu kisha tusamehe dhambi zetu twajikabidhi mikononi mwako twalete watoto wetu wenye baba tuko nao hapa na wenye hatuko nao Jehova ni kwa sababu wewe ndio umetupea hawa watoto na umewatenganisha na wale wengine ni kwa sababu tunajua watoto wengi wako huko mitaani baba baba wengine wanafuta bangi wengine baba hata wanakunywa sigara wengine hata wanakunywa pombe lakini hawa umewawatanisha na hawa na uwakalete katika kikao chako. Baba tunakuomba uwabariki ni kwa sababu wewe ndio ulituambia tukija hii nyumba yako baba kama tumebeba mizigo mizitu utakumuzisha sisi baba. Tukija hapa kama tumekimbishwa na adui utakuwa wa kutuokoa. <coughs> adui ni nyingi baba zile baba zimekukimbisha na hatuwezi bila wewe Jehova. Kwa hivyo twakuomba ukue baba wa kutuokoa, kukuu na hata baba tuna maombi yenye tunakuomba na tuna mwenye baba atasimama kutupea neno lako Bwana. Hebu mtumie kama chombo Jehova na umuwezeshe ni kwa sababu wewe ndio umemteua. Ume baba mwanzo mwema katika kikao hiki katikati hata mwisho. Na wakati tutamalizia tutasema tumekuona. All the officers to akabidhi mikononi mwako. All girls and all boys and girls brigade to akabidhi mikononi mwako. Hata wakati huu Jehova to akabidhi mikononi mwako. Watoto wote baba wale mikononi mwako. Waongoze hata wale watatu school wote to akabidhi mikononi mwako. Mambo yote ni wewe tumeambia tukijua ya kwamba umeasikia na umetutimizia na utaendelea kuwa nazi na tukimaliza tutasema tumekuona na ni katika jina la baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu toomba na kuamini Bwana asifiwe wakati huu nitaalika brigade ya Emaus wako na poe Emaus
mbele yenu ni Boys and Girls Brigade kutoka PCA Emmaus Church tayari kwa karia shairi kutoka kitabu cha Petero wa kwanza mlango wa tano mstari wa tano hadi wa kumi makinikeni
hata wakati huu ambao tuko na wao Jehova tuomba kibali chako kikazidi kukaa pamoja na wao. Ni asanti mwokozi kwa sababu utatubariki kwa pamoja. Endana na hao watoto mwokozi kuwa kiongozi wao. Wape mawaida Jehova na ili wakachagua mambo ambayo yanafaa. Wape madri ambayo yanakufurahisha mwokozi. Ni asanti Jehova twajikabidhi mikononi mwako ilio na nguvu na usalama. Na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tumeomba na hata kushukuru. Bwana asifiwe. Naendelea vizuri wakati huu wa chama. Okay, bwana asifiwe kanisa. Bwana asifiwe tena. Okay, kwa majina naitwa Simon Kamongo, nimeokoka na nichukue fursa hii kuwakaribisha katika ibada yetu ya siku ya leo. Niwashukuru sana wa officers na pia boys and girls brigade kwa vile mmejitolea siku hii kwaweza kuja. Kwa maana tungepanga siku hii ya leo na kose kuja haige kwa siku haige wanekane kio vizuri. Kwa hivyo nichukue fursa hii niwashukuru sana na niseme ni asante kwa vile mmejitolea patron wetu atuiko naye siku ya leo lakini aliweza kutumia elda toka Veneza akuje ili amwafikishe mahali pake. Na msikie mkiwa huru, msikie mkiwa jumbani na msikie mkiwa mahali ambapo anafaa. Na niwashukuru sana na tuendelee vyema mwana wa Mungu. Wakati huu ni wakati wa masomo. Ndidi ninatoka kitabu cha Second Kings chapter 5 verse 1 to 14. Nasema now Naaman was a commander of the army of the king of Aram. He was a great man in the sight of his master and highly regarded because through him the Lord had given victory to Aram. He was a valiant soldier but he had leprosy. Now birds from Aram had gone out and had taken captive a young girl from Israel and she served Naaman's wife. She said to her mistress, If only my master would see the prophet who is in Samaria, he would cure him of his leprosy. Naaman went to his master and told him what the God of Israel had said. By all means, go, the king of Aram replied. I will send a letter to the king of Israel. So Naaman left, taking with him ten talents of silver, six thousand shekels of gold, and ten sets of clothing. The letter that he took to the king of Israel read, With this letter, I am sending my servant Naaman to you, so that you may cure him of his leprosy. As soon as the king of Israel read the letter, he tore his robe and said, Am I God? Can I kill and bring back to life? Why does this fellow send someone to me to be cured of his leprosy? See how he is trying to pick a quarrel with me. Then Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his robes. He sent him with this message, Why have you torn your robes? Make the man come to me, and he will know that there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman went with his horses, chariots, and stopped at the door of Elisha's house. Elisha sent a messenger to, to say to him, Go wash yourself seven times in the Jordan, and your flesh will be restored and you will be cleansed. But Naaman went away angry and said, I thought that he would surely come up to me and stand there, and stand and call on the name of the Lord is God. Wave his hand over the spot and cure me of my leprosy. Are not a banner and far far the rivers of Damascus better than any of the waters of Israel? Could he try to wash in them and, then, and be cleansed? So he turned away and went off in rage. Naaman's servant went to him and said, My father, if the prophet had told you to do some great thing, will you not have done it? How much more then when he tells you, wash and be cleansed? So he went down and Keep himself in the Jordan seven times, as the man of God had told him, and his flesh was restored and became clean like that of a young boy. And that's the word of God. First Peter five one to ten. Na many vuko. To the elders among you, I appeal as you fellow elder and a witness of Christ suffering who also would share in, glo in glory, in the glory to be revealed. Be shepherds of God's flock, 
that is under your care, watching over them, not because you must, but because you are willing. As God wants you to be, not pursuing dishonest gain, but eager to serve, not loading it over and trusted to you, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you'll receive the crown of glory and of glory that will never fade away. In the same way, you, you, you who are younger, submit yourselves to the elders, and you, and you, you are clo clothe yourselves with humility towards one another, because God opposes the proud but shows favor to the humble. Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that He may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Be alert and sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, crawls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour, resist him, standing firm in faith because you know that the family, that the family of being believers throughout the world is going the same kind of suffering. And the Lord of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, will himself restore you and make you strong, firm, and steadfast. That's the word of God. Tukitazamia kutoka kwa kwa mwana Sisi kana kama wana blegedi Tukitazamia mikono ni mwako Unene nasi, utuongose Kwa kila hatua batu kwa tutakapo pika mahali hapa Na wewe kwaweza kuonekana sisi kutuka au kwaweza kuonekana Sisi tusionekana mahali pale Lakini tutii kuligana na neno lako Na nikatika jina asu kristo tumemba na kwa mimi basi mimi nika mtanibuzu niko peke yangu hapa aa nitoe hii maski niweze kutoa sauti vizuri kwa majina yangu naitwa uh, David Mushedo kana Mushedo wa Wajiu na Yesu Kristo ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu nina furaha sana kwa sababu ya siku ya leo kwa ajili ya kuja hapa ili tuweze kumega uh, mkate wa uh, Mungu pamoja nanyi mimi nimekuwa ofisa kwa muda mrefu na kwa hivyo ninapoona hivyo kuwa nafurahia. Nashukuru kwa sababu ya kanisa letu la la Nek Parish kwa kutupatia siku ya leo ili tuweze kuja, uh, kuja mahali pamoja tuweze kuninua jina la Yesu Kristo. Sio kawaida tunakuwa na prayer week wa kamwasi kama huu lakini kwa sababu ya vile corona ama hii corona imekuwa ikija Aha, tukaonelea ni viema tukaona this week Kwa sababu it's only one week Hapaya tutakuwa pamoja nani Tukaona ni vizuri tuje tusemezani Bila kupoteza wakati Ningeteka tuende kwa yale masomo Hapaya tumesomewa na wasome, wasome, wasomanti wazuri sana Na mesoma vizuri sana Na ningeteka tuende mmoja kwa moja mahali pale na sika kichwa ya siku ya leo ni kuti na kuti na kuti just obedient bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe kanisa amen bwana asifiwe amen bwana asifiwe amen eh wana prayeri naona kama hamtakunywa chai ya asubuhi ama ni nini unajua sisi tuna watu wabaya ni vijana kama biblia inasema vijana waamke Dio watapabana na adui Sasa ni vijana abaa tuko na nguvu Na wana pregeti Dio watu wale abao Kuwa wanakuwa na uniform abao inapendesa sana Katika kanizani letu La PC Presbyterian Na hapa tunapo uh, Nidhamu ya hali ya juu So tukisema bwana asifio Unazema amen Kwa sababu unajua ya kwamba Mahali abao umeitua Si hapa tu Bali umeitua bali 
ukatumkia Bwana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. 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 Haleluya. Amen. Amen. Hata sasa hiyo nimefurahia. So, ningetaka tuingie mmoja kwa mmoja katika kitabu kile ambacho tumechoma tumesomewa. Especially kitabu ya a ya habari ya Haman. Safa second king chapter 5 from verse 1 up to 14 na imesomewa vizuri sana na tumesikia vile ambapo ndugu wetu ama mfalme ama mtu ambaye alikuwa ameheshimika sana ambapo alikuwa akienda vitani kila wakati anapoenda vitani alikuwa na shida na akienda vitani walikuwa nchi nzima ilijua ya kwamba this man atakapoenda vitani hakika atashida kwa sababu alikuwa mwenye nguvu alikuwa mtu babaya alikuwa mwenye hakima alikuwa mtu ambaye anajua vile anafanya and that is why uh, uh, naman alikuwa mtu ambaye anatabulikana sana katika nchi yake na wakati mmoja hata kama alikuwa amepata ametabulikana sana kwa kwa na ugonjwa ambaye ulikuwa umemkujia ukakagojeka ugonjwa wa ukoma akawa na, 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 na mwili wake wote ukawa umejaa a, a pimples so Mungu akase akaona ya kwamba hata kama we unajua kwenda vitani sana unajua kila kitu ama unajua sija zote zile za kupigana na andui nitakuletea kitu ambaye itajua ya kwamba si wewe mkubwa hata si kumu zako zinafanya uende za uh, vitani bali ni mimi nakuongoza na ninakutafanyia vile unafanya ukienda vitani unashika so akaletoa ugonjwa ugonjwa ukaingia ndani ya mwili yake na ule ugonjwa haukuwa na timba haukuwa na timba kama vile mnavyojua hata wakati wa siku ya leo tuna ugonjwa ambaye hata madaktari wa ulimwengu wameshindwa kuleta timba bado wanaleta tu prevention kitu ya kuprevent ile ile itisidana zile tunadungwa lakini ile haikuwa na timba na basi kulikuwa na mchana mmoja katika nyumba yake ya mfalme ambaye alikuwa ametoka nchi ya Israeli mchana alikuwa mdogo na hana kama ni ni ni, ni, ni watu wana, wana kwa sababu wanakuwa wamechanuka sana so yule mchana akawaambia kama ungelijua heri ungelijua kungekuwa kwetu basi kuna mtu mdabii wa Mungu ambaye angekupeleka angekuombea na ungepona huu ukoma lakini Mungu a, 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 yule msana alionekana kama ni kitu kidogo tu lakini kuna mfanyikazi mmoja akakimbia kwa mfalme akamwambia laiti huyo mtu angekuwa nchi yetu Israeli basi kuna mdabii wa Mungu basi akaenda kule na amponye basi kule mtu afanyikazi akaenda akaambia mfalme kuna msana amesema hivi na ngeka na msana na maana ngeenda kule basi atapona atapona na ikawa hivyo basi mfalme akaandika barua pelekea mfalme wa Israeli umwambie ya kuomba na wanataka unimponye so hawaku walipuuza yule msana ama mfanyikazi yule hawakurudi kwao kwa ule msana wamuuliza ni mtu ni mtu gani yule ama ni mnabii gani ambaye anaponya so mfalme aliandika barua akapatia mnama akampeleka mnama ni akakimbia akaenda kwa mfalme mfalme kuna kitu alijua mjue maajabu ya Mungu mfalme kuna kitu alikuwa anajua kunaendelea lakini Mungu kama wangerudia kwa yule msana walipuuza tu Eh hey, vile unaweza puza uzeme haka ka kitu kwa haka kasiana kuna kitu kanajua haka kama unapoleta kuna kitu kanajua Lakini mfalme alipuza akamwandikia barua ya kwa mfalme wa warantia yake ili nama ni aponye Wakati alipelekewa yule barua mfalme uh, the, the, the mfalme yule ambaye alikuwa pelekewa barua akakasirika sana na akadhabika sana Lakini Elisha akasikia kelele na kilio ya mfalme akasema tumeni yule mtu akuje kwangu na ili kuko watu wajue ya kwamba katika nchi ya Israeli kuna Mungu yule aishie daima milele asubuhi leo tumekuja hapa wana prehedi tukiwaambia kuna Mungu 
Hatatembea pamoja nani na hataendelea pamoja nasi popote tuendapo hata kama ni mashuleni Mungu atatembea pamoja nasi. Haleluya. Haleluya. Mungu atatembea na wewe. Mradi tu ukitii basi utakuwa ukitembea pamoja na Mungu. Kwa sababu Elisha alikuwa mtumishi wa Mungu basi shida ilikuwa kubwa sana. Alipoambia ya kwamba mfalme akaenda kwa Elisha akaenda na mali ya dhahabu na gold. Alikuwa anafikiria ya kwamba akipeleka zile uh, mali zake hiyo gold na dhahabu zile basi ataponywa. Lakini Elisha hakuwa na haja na hizo zote. Biblia inasema ya kwamba mfalme alipompelekea rais Elisha akakasirika sana. Akasema mimi sita kitu yako yoyote wewe nenda nazo enda ukaji uh, ukajichovie katika mji wa Jordani mara saba. Sasa mkavamu akakazilika sana. Biblia inasema ya kwamba nilikuwa nafikiria atakuja nipapaza mwili yangu basi niponye unajua kawaida tukiendo kwa mfalme ama kwa mtu ambaye mnataka ambaye ameheshimika hata kwa president kwanza na baus tunaona watoto vile wanapelekea mfalme ile maua ambayo wanapewa anapeleka ile maua anashikana ana ana anapiga makalibu ya pia maoti anapanda ilama anainamimisha nyusho zake kwa sababu hapo pale ya mfalme so nama naye alikuwa anafikiria Elisha atafanya hivyo lakini aliende aliambia mimi i don't want your uh, uh, gold and the silvers nenda nazo basi ukajichovie katika mji wa Yordani mara saba niwaambie wapendwa wa asubuhi ya leo all believers ya kwamba mambo mengine yanakuwa magumu sana unapoambia ya kwamba uenda mahali ambapo una badharau ukiambia ya kwamba mimi uenda kwa shamba ukalima kwa shamba ambayo iko na nyasi kubwa sana na unajua kwani hata hulimai hata hujawahi kujua si jambo linashiko namna gani akasema kwetu kuna uh, 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 kuna mito mizuri sana kwetu lakini nimeambiwa nikajichovie katika mji wa Yordani naona kama haya maji yalikuwa chafu sana lakini kwa sababu ya neno la Bwana na kutoka kwa kupitia kwa Elisha akaambiwa lazima uende ukajichovie wa mara saba so akaenda kama amegadhabika sana akaenda akavika akakuta wa, 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 watumishi wake mtumishi mmoja akamwambia na kusihi kama ukiambiwa ufanye makubwa ama makubwa ama, ama, ama upeleke pesa nyingi sana ndio uponywe basi ungefanya hivyo na kwa sababu mtumishi wa Mungu amekuambia uende ukajisovie katika mji wa Yordani mara saba hivyo ndivyo utafanya akatii bwana asifiwe sana hapi geukie moyo zako tu hata kama huta huta Mungu karibia mwambie akatii akatii yes alikubali kutii kama vile tunavyo siku ya leo Mungu hakuna kitu kingine ambapo ambayo anataka kutoka kwetu it is only obedient utii tu basi ukisha tii basi Mungu naye anakufanyia vile kile kichocho ambacho unataka kwa hiyo akaenda akajichovia katika mji wa Yordani akaenda mara ya kwanza akaingia kwa maji akaona hakuna kitu kimefanyika akaingia mara ya pili akaona he hakuna kitu inabadilika hata haibadiliki akaenda mara ya tatu mara ya ile mara ya tano naona kama alianza kupigia wale wapao walikuwa wamempigia wampeleka mahali pale akawaambia sasa angalieni sasa hii ni mara ya saba na hata mwili wangu haijaanza kubadilika haijaanza kubadilika bado iko vile vile tu Biblia inasema ya kwamba akajisofia mara ya sita wakati alijonge pale akaingia kwa ndani ya maji mara ya sita alipoingia mara ya saba Biblia yakasema uh, Biblia inasema ya kwamba mwili wake ukabadilika ukawa kama mwili wa mtoto haleluya mwili wake ukabadilika kwa nini kwa sababu alitii tu na mwimbaji akasema akaimba wimbo akasema kushulia za kwa lina jabaita itwa leo ya 
Kuti ni kuti. Haina limit na haina kusema ya kwamba uti kidogo alafu kidogo usiti. No. Kuti ni kuti alafu fenye kulingana na mapenzi na mapenzi ya Mungu Baba. Niwaambie ya kwamba Yesu Kristo alipokuja hapa ulimwengu huu alikupatia upendo. Niulize kwamba niwaambie kitu kidogo tu ndio hapo katika Genesis. Genesis chapter 27. Ajak uh, Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. Inaksema hivi, Mungu akamaliza kuumba mbingu na nchi. Akaumba mtu kwa mfano wake, akaumba mume na mke. Alipoumba mume na mke, unajua siku hiyo wabawe wa sita waliumba mume mume na mke. Aliumba roho mtakatifu wa Bwana wa mke na mume. Kwa sababu alisema ya kwamba tuombe watu wanafanana nasi. In Genesis chapter uh, 2 verse 7, ikasema ya kwamba First one and the same Yakoba, he created uh, a man and a woman. But in Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, the same Yakoba, Aka Tegeneza, Aka Tegeneza moment, the call to Oko. Part of the creation, like me, this one is formed. He formed a man. Sasa mke sijui alikuja alikuja leta lakini mtu akaumbwa pale. Kwa hivyo nitaka kuambia kwamba wakati watu walipofukuzwa shamba la Eden na Adam na Eve. Msijua hakuna mali, hakuna kuliko wengine walienda, walienda kuandika mtu kwa ile shamba. Lakini leo mtakatifu wa Bwana ndio alitoka mahali pale akawaondokea. Ile mwili ambao ulipo ukawekwa pumzi, huyo ndio ulibaki pale. Na huyo mwili ambaye uliformiwa unajua that one it's a creation and form. Creation dio inaondoka. Lakini ku ile mwili ambaye ilivomia hii ambaye tunaona inafanya niongee na pumzi ya baba niliwekwa. Adam akapata naye. And that is why unakuta ya kwamba kwa sababu Biblia inasema wakati walipofukuzwa uh, ile shamba walienda shamba ilikuwa na miimba mingi sana. Miimba ile mingi ambayo iko mahali pale Ni, ni ile ambayo tuko naye unakuta mtu anakutusi anatukana anatenda mabaya anafanya anaenda kumaya kabu ya baya kwa sababu wako katika nchi ya baya haina roho mtakatifu but when the holy spirit the spirit of god is in you hakuna wezi kufanya kitu kibaya kwa hiyo sisi wanakule nataka kuambia kwamba the only thing we are supposed to do ni kutii tu na kuendea na njia zile Mungu abaye anataka tuende naso. Na tukienda na hizo, hakika tutakuwa watoto wazuri. Na watu wale wale watu watoto wengi ambao wametipitia kwa mikono yetu. Nataka kusema ya kwamba wameenda vizuri. Hata Septemba tuna kuna mtoto wa mwana kurejea. Alikusoma amepita anaenda US. Na ni wengi sana waenda. Mimi nataka kuambia, hakuna kitu kingine ambacho tunawapatia kama wana kurejea. Sisi ni kuharakisha jia zile zinapofaa mtii tu ukitui tu basi Mungu atakutendea mema na Mungu atakuonekania na atakuonyesha na na na, na, na atakuonyesha jia Biblia baje akasema ya kwamba afanye hema penzi ya Mungu baba huyo atadumu hata mbele sile yote amtae Bwana bwana acha kaingia ufalme wake sio yote yote amtaye bwana bwana atakaingia ufalme wake lakini niafanya haya mapenzi ya Mungu Baba Mungu awabariki na asidi kuwatendea mema na tuombe kwa kushukuru baba wetu kwa sababu ya wakati huo mdogo ambao umetupatia tukalena na neno lako bwana na tukasemesana na wana wana kulegeti na wajua bila yake tikiti chako cha hizi endelea kuwabariki na kuwaongoza katika jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini. Amen. Tumpigie Yesu makofi. Leo ni kuti na kunyenyekea. Bwana asifiwe. Neno la Mungu linasema tuti na tunyenyekee. Asante sana mhubiri wetu Mungu akubariki kwa kuelekeza hao watoto kwa sababu tumepewa wa wa kwa mikono yetu na Mungu atatuliza
Thank you. 